Welcome into NFL Daily. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. You can give me a follow on Twitter. I'm at HGramNFL. More NFL news, rumors, some occasional hot takes, if you're into that thing, at HGramNFL on Twitter. Today's show, some Aaron Rodgers trade destinations, five teams that I think could land the disgruntled Packers quarterback. Let's talk about the latest surrounding Rodgers as some information has evolved, if you will, in the last couple of weeks. As of now, still wants out. Nothing new there. He did not go to OTAs this past week. He's hanging out in Hawaii with his wife and uh, a couple of his uh, Hollywood friends, which, hey, he's living his best life. Did that interview with Kenny Mayne on uh, ESPN Sports Center. Made it pretty clear to me that he still wants out of Green Bay. Isn't bitter against the franchise, but just wants a new opportunity. And realistically, trading him after June 1st is a possibility because you look at his contract here and uh, for a new team in 2021 only taking on 22 million if you trade him after June 1st 25 and a half million for 2022 25 and a half million for 2023 as well on average 24 million per year for the next three years if a team trades for Aaron Rodgers yeah, that's pretty good for the reigning NFL MVP considering Patrick Mahomes just signed a 500 million dollar contract so destination odds and obviously this includes basically the odds here are who is he going to take his first snap with. Vegas still thinks Packers are the most likely team at minus 167, but it's getting closer. The Broncos, heavy favorites to trade for him, plus 140. Raiders, plus 1,000. Saints, Niners, and the Washington football team all at plus 2,000. And then you've got the Carolina Panthers down there, the Browns, the Dolphins, the Patriots, all at plus 2,500 odds. I don't think New England makes any sense after drafting uh, Mac Jones, but hey, you never know. Weirder things have happened. So before we get into my five teams that I believe could trade for Rodgers, will the Packers trade him? What do you guys think? If you think they will, type T for trade. If you're like, no, they're going to keep him, they'll work this out. Type K for that they will keep him. I think they're going to end up trading him after June 1st, and uh, we'll find out in just a few moments who I believe is the most likely candidate. Okay, let's go to number five here. How about the Las Vegas Raiders? I know in the odds they're like third or fourth best there that we just showed you, but I don't think they're as likely as some of these other teams. Now, Rodgers reportedly, when he leaked his preferred list, did have the Raiders on it, so that is somewhat significant. But if he's serious about still contending for Super Bowls, Vegas has questions on its roster. Their offensive line doesn't look as good on paper after this past season. Got rid of a couple of guys, including their all-pro center, Rodney Hudson. Now, what the Raiders can offer that some of these other teams can't is a competent franchise-level quarterback. Derek Carr is a top-15 NFL quarterback, and so that would be appealing for the Green Bay Packers. So you could get Carr back if you're Green Bay, but from the Raiders' side and the Packers' side, it, or in Rodgers' side more specifically, are the Raiders really in a position where they can win right away? I don't really think that they are. I don't really think that the Raiders are a team that can win right now. This roster has some issues. I don't believe that they can win. Now, if they get traded to the Raiders, you best believe we're going to be covering it here, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You compare Rodgers and Carr side by side here. Now, obviously, Rodgers is the better quarterback. There's no disputing that. But if you're the Raiders, sure, you would love the opportunity to get Rodgers. But you also have to be realistic. Like, is this defense a good enough shape? to win a Super Bowl? Is this uh, offensive line in good enough shape to protect Aaron Rodgers? Maybe those answers are yes, but in recent years, the defense has not been good. The O-line got worse this offseason, and that receiving core, hey, Devontae Adams is a nice little player to throw to. Henry Ruggs ain't Devontae Adams. So I got the Raiders at number five. I'm not super high on them trading for Aaron Rodgers, but I do think they should at least be mentioned. Where will Rodgers play this upcoming season? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Where will he play in 2021? Maybe you still think it's going to be the Packers. Maybe you think it's going to be the Raiders. Maybe it's a team that wasn't even on the betting odds, some sleeper team that could be out there. Predict it for me. Where will Aaron Rodgers play in 2021? All I'm going to say... I don't think it's going to be with the Green Bay Packers. Now, want to remind you guys to get subscribed to us here at Chat Sports. It's YouTube.com slash Chat Sports, Chat Sports TV. Oh, my God, I can't talk. We have the latest news, rumors, trade rumors. We go live multiple times per week, Monday and Wednesday at 3 o'clock Central Time, 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Don't miss our shows. We have a lot of fun with you guys. Hit that big red button. We're closing in on 250,000 subscribers, so go ahead and subscribe today.
Next up, the Cleveland Browns. Ooh, let's talk about the Brownies here. I got them number four, and you're probably thinking, well, they've got Baker Mayfield. Well, we'll get to him in a minute. The Browns have been linked to Rodgers a little bit. We've heard this thrown out there some. And the reason I've got them on my list is this roster is absolutely loaded and ready to win right now. You can win a Super Bowl if you're Cleveland, if you have elite level quarterback play. The question they should be asking themselves and that I'm asking, is Baker Mayfield that guy? Did he improve last year? No doubt about it. But can he take this team to a Super Bowl, which I think should be you know, a potential expectation for this team. I know you got to go through the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. It's very, very tough, but the Browns roster is legit. There's no doubt about it. Defense, offense, offensive line, the running back duo, the wide receiver unit, uh, the pass rushing unit. Like, this roster is loaded. Can Baker Mayfield be the guy that takes this team to an AFC title game or a Super Bowl? I don't know. Can Aaron Rodgers? I'm pretty confident he can. Now, Baker improved last year. There's no doubt. He had a career year, 63%, 3,500 yards, 26 to 8 ratio. He was solid, but he still needs to improve. He needs to get that completion percentage higher. He needs to be a 4,000-yard passing guy, and he needs to make better decisions in bigger games. If you look at his win-loss record against the better teams, not very good. He beats up on the bad teams, but you got to be able to beat those other contending type of teams. So I've got the Browns at number four. I'm not super confident that they would do this, but if I'm them, I would consider it. Because if I believe that Aaron Rodgers is the difference in my team winning a Super Bowl, then I'm doing everything to get that guy. And I think the Browns should as well. So I've got Cleveland at number four, Raiders at number five. We'll get into my top three in just a few moments. But uh, hey, the Brownies do not sleep on them this upcoming uh, offseason when it comes to uh, trading for Aaron Rodgers. All right, guys, we've got an NFL hat and shirt combo available for you guys at uh, chatsports.com slash NFL combo. The offseason's rolling along. Training camps will be here very soon. You see the link below, chatsports.com slash NFL combo. And we have a bunch of teams available, like over half of the NFL teams. Browns fans, we just talked about you guys. Uh, $29.99, that hat and t-shirt combo. Bears fans, yes, we got them available for you as well. Ravens, Seahawks, like a bunch of other teams that we don't have photos made for because we'd be here all day. The point is, go to that link below, chatsports.com slash NFL combo. It'll be in the comments. That link will be in the description. Go search for your favorite team. They're all, you know, side by side right there. Take advantage. Usually it's 50 bucks. Right now it's 30 bucks. Take advantage of this deal during the offseason because, you know, the prices will ramp up once football season gets back and running. Top three here. Let's go to the Miami Dolphins here. I got them at number three. Similar to the Browns, I think this is a roster that's ready to win right now. Um, I'm not saying they're quite there where Cleveland is, but I love this defense. I love the culture that Brian Flores has uh, built in Miami. There's no doubt Aaron Rodgers gets them a better chance to win than Tua Tungavailola. Similar to Cleveland. I, know, I think Baker Mayfield's further along than Tua is, but... Outside of quarterback, you look at this Dolphins roster, you're like, that's a top 5-7 roster in the NFL. Problem is, can Tua take those steps that you expect him to? This is a number 5 overall pick just a couple of years ago, so this is a big year for Tua, and if they're not super confident in him, last year he was up and down, played in 10 games, got benched a couple of times for Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ah, that makes me a little nervous if I'm Miami. If getting Aaron Rodgers is a real possibility, don't you have to at least explore it? I think you do. I think you do. Um, that's just my opinion. And, you know, sending Tua back to Green Bay could be appealing for the Packers as well. So we'll see what happens on that front. Do you believe in Tua Tungavaloa? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. I'm at M for maybe. Uh, I need to see more. T for TBD. I think this is a big year for him uh, if they don't end up trading for Rodgers. So I think we'll find out pretty quickly this year if Tua is the guy for the Miami Dolphins. So Miami at number three, let's go to number two, the Washington football team. Um, I think this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you signed Ryan Fitzpatrick, who we just previously mentioned. And hey, the guy's a freaking folk tale, a tale hero in the NFL. Love Fitzpatrick. But that's a bad division and a good defense with Washington. And I think an offense that with the right quarterback – has some potential. I'm a big Terry McLaurin guy. Uh, I like Antonio Gibson out of the backfield. I think there's some weapons in place 
for this Washington football team. And I believe you put Rodgers in Washington, this is the clear front runner to win the NFC East. And you get into the playoffs, you win 10, 11, 12 games, you know, get the number two or three seed in the NFC, you're in good positioning. I think the NFC is a little weaker right now than the AFC overall. Now, Fitzpatrick is a serviceable starter and gives Washington a good chance to win the division, but you know there's basically no chance he's taking you to a Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers, though? I think he gives you a damn good chance of, of, of making a deep playoff run with this Washington team. I like Ron Rivera and his culture. I like the defense they play. I like their ability to be balanced on offense. And I love the appeal, if I'm Rodgers, of playing in the NFC East. I mean, he loves to play the Cowboys. He's broken their hearts a bunch of times. And that division's bad, guys. Like, 10 and 7, 9 and 8 might win the NFC East this year. You put Rodgers in Washington, that's probably an 11 or 12 win team. I've got them at number two. Number one, the team we keep hearing about, yes, the Denver Broncos. And this roster has literally everything except for a quarterback. You've got everything. Your defense is stacked. You've got a defensive-minded head coach in Vic Fangio, who uh, was running uh, one of the best defenses in the NFL when, when he was with Chicago a couple of years ago. Problem is they can't find the right quarterback. Drew Locke, I mean, we'll see what happens this year if they end up keeping him. He's been bad. There's just no way around it, and he's got to play a lot better. You get Aaron Rodgers in Denver with this roster, this receiving core, Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy. Uh, I like the tight end. The guy's blanking my name right now. Uh, unless, uh, what do you guys, uh, uh, who, who is it? Let me know. Noah Fan, love Noah Fan, big fan of him. You got Melvin Gordon coming out of the backfield. This is a good roster, and on the defensive side, plenty of, you sign Kyle Fuller, Von Miller hopefully comes back and plays well this year. This team is ready to win. Now, the AFC West is tough, but reports surface that Rodgers would relish at the opportunity to take on Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, so I think it would be a fun opportunity. I'll just say it, Broncos need Aaron Rodgers. They, they just do. Drew Locke is not the guy. He is not going to take this team where it wants to go. So if you can go get Aaron Rodgers out of all the teams I've gone through, he makes the most sense. This guy right here is way better than Drew Locke. <laughs> like, I cannot emphasize that enough. You're talking about the reigning MVP. I know, oh, he's 37 years old. I don't want to mortgage our future. It's not like it's Justin Herbert who has proven already he can play at a high level and you're opting for the younger guy just because he's not as good as Aaron Rodgers. This is Drew Locke who was bad last year, 57%, 16 to 15 touchdown interception ratio, QBR of less than 50. Those statistics are gross. You can do a lot better if you are Green Bay. And obviously, if it's Aaron Rodgers, you're arguably doing the best because he did win the MVP this past year. And could you imagine the AFC West if these were the four quarterbacks? Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City. Aaron Rodgers in Denver, Justin Herbert in Los Angeles with the Chargers. We saw he, he, how he played as a rookie, and Derek Carr's no scrub either. That's four top 15 quarterbacks all in the same division. That would be electric. That would be fireworks in the AFC West. So we're wrapping up this video. We asked you this question at the beginning. We'll ask you one more time before we sign off. Will the Packers trade Aaron Rodgers? Type T that they will trade him. Type K, nah, they're going to keep him. Get your votes in, subscribe to the channel, let's get to 250k subs, and we'll see you next time.